Which is better, Switch cartridge or Blu-ray discs for long-term preservation? John? Uh, well, for long-term ownership. So this is... I think I actually have to go with Blu-ray disc for this really? one. Really? Because I'd have said the opposite, but... I ahead. agree, but I... I don't yet know what's going to happen here, but there is this concern that's been raised that the Switch cartridges use a type of flash memory, right? Right. For storage. Unlike a mask ROM cartridge, like old Super NES, Mega Drive, whatever games, where it's those are virtually indestructible, uh, <laughs> they will just continue to operate and with minimal maintenance required, and that's great. But these flash cards, they need an occasional bit of electricity applied to them, and there's this fear that if they sit dormant long enough, uh, they will actually begin to degrade and bits of the data can be uh, lost. And there's all, but there's also some kind of like self repair thing that I saw in terms of th there's still a lot of, con I don't know all the details on this off the top of my head, but there's definitely some weirdness to it. And I think some people saw this kind of issue with, certain 3ds games possibly or some early 3ds games have started to exhibit issues okay. that also uses flash rom like this um so but i don't think we've actually seen any switch games necessarily fail yet per se there's just that concern is of because of this volatile memory they're using that eventually it may actually degrade and be lost which is not great news <laughs> for folks like myself mm. whereas the blue you know discs i feel are actually quite durable and long lasting uh in the early days there there was issues with the disc rot to some degree i've never personally encountered it uh but that was usually like a manufacturing defect i think blu-ray discs themselves are quite robust and i i don't think i've ever heard of anything suffering a blu-ray disc even from the early days suffering from that i have i'm skeptical that it would be an issue on there at all Mm -hmm. And they're just they're just really nice. I mean, as long as you take care of them, of course, don't throw it around like a frisbee, like an old AOL disc that you got in the mail. That's not good. But I think, for all intents and purposes, Blu-ray discs should be pretty bulletproof for uh, our lifetimes. Now, in terms of actual like quote unquote preservation, that's a different topic entirely. And I wouldn't rely, you know, I love physical media, but that's not really the way to preserve this stuff. Even though you know, technically, if you're storing something in the cloud, it's still being stored on a physical drive somewhere. It's just a matter, matter of breaking it up and storing it across multiple uh, places. Just, it's data redundancy, basically. So, okay. uh, which thankfully the switch has been cracked wide open. So, uh, obviously, we don't want games pirated, but pirates have kind of kept the door open and so much that the switch library is not really at risk of being lost in the future, which mm -hmm. is good. Any thoughts on this one, Oliver? Yeah, I think because of the nature of flash ROMs, they do tend to sometimes lose charge and degrade over time. I've definitely seen, seen some worries about that. That was actually recently a big problem with uh, Wii U consoles potentially that are starting to oh, yeah. that are starting to actually lose some some memory there and it's it's not entirely the same problem but it's a similar problem and are beginning to so that was solved yeah yeah but but it was a was a problem right um yeah and assuming they're kept in perfect conditions i think blu-rays as well as other disc media but i think especially blu-rays can last like a long time like i saw someone say that they could be yeah. 50 years or 100 years or something but if they're kept in very good conditions right in the ravages right. of constant right use humidity changes things like that i think both you could probably say they'd last at least 10 or 15 years with reasonable use but I would I would put my money on the Blu-rays lasting longer in archival conditions for sure. I would have a lot more confidence mm -hmm. in that product. Yeah, I will say uh, I still have I have a bunch of PC Engine CD-ROM games that came out in like 1989. So right. and, and every single one that I have, I literally every disc I have, I've I've gone through and tested them carefully, and and some of those really old ones I've actually run them through on the PC to sort of check for for data issues and they've all come out clean so it's cool to see that those still work i feel like the riskiest discs are still laser discs due to their size and the way they were often manufactured depending on where they were manufactured those do seem to fail more often than any other disc type but okay. which is a shame because laser discs are awesome 
I mean, going into this one, I would have suspected that the Switch cartridge would be more durable, but it is sort of related to this concept of, uh, what do they call it, disc rot, that yep. there is something inherent to uh, uh, disc-based media that means that it's not as durable um, over the course of time. But, you know, thinking about it, your PC Engine example is a better one than I was going to come up with, which is, you know, this is uh, Enemy Territory Quake Wars on Xbox 360, which I bought because we want to do a retro time capsule on, 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 on this game. And, you know, this disc is 17 years old. I mean, it looks perfect. It runs perfect. But you can actually go back further to like PS1 games, PS2 games, and your extreme example, the PC Engine. <laughs> yeah, which was like the first games ever shipped, I think, on CD-ROM yeah. was on the PC Engine. I think Engine. maybe there's uh, a lot of the perception may have come from like DIY burned discs. Oh, yeah, those are less likely to survive. And also there there were some factories back then that made some errors with uh, applying the layers that I think could result in disc rot. So it's more yeah. like a manufacturing defect that comes to light in time. Yeah, I do remember back in the day when you were burning your own DVDs, there were like, uh, you could buy sort of top end verbatim media, which was sort of seen as the best of the best. But then there was this whole bunch of uh, what you might call cowboy outfits producing their own DVDRs, which, you know, they might not have even burned correctly in the first place, let alone be durable across the years. I actually found an old DVD R recently where I had burned the movie Cashern on it back in the day. I remember being curious about it as a Japanese film and I popped it into my player back there and it started right up. <laughs> it's still good. It's like 20 years old, I think, at this point. 